Welcome to our Battlefield 1 weapon guides. In today's episode we take a look at the 12G automatic shotgun. I'm a little sick right now, so please bear with me and I hope my voice doesn't bother you too much. But let's get into the video. We'll start by taking a look at the damage output. It works a bit different for the shotguns. Uh, the shotguns shoot buckshot rounds. So per pellet it does 8.4 damage within its maximum damage range. But after this range it drops off to 4.2. This means you will kill an enemy within at least 2 shots. But this can range up to 20 shots depending on the range and the amount of pellets you hit. The damage is multiplied depending on the part of the body that shot. The headshot multiplies 1.7, the upper body multiplies 1.0, and the lower body and limbs have a multiplier of 0.96. The rate of fire is slow, at 257 rounds per minute, but it's considerably faster than the Model 10A. It has a muzzle velocity of 333 meters per second, and the high damage, low muzzle velocity and low rate of fire make it excellent in close ranges, but almost unusable at middle to long ranges. The weapon deals its maximum damage until the range of 13 meters, which is okay, but not the greatest range, and then steadily decreases to its minimum damage until 15 meters. This means it has a really short drop off range. Now let's take a look at the handling. The vertical recoil is 3.85 and the horizontal recoil is for both left and right 0.56. This is considerably less than the Model 10A. The recoil decrease is 4.5 and the first shot multiplier is 1. You can consider this non-existent because within close ranges it won't bother you. The aim down sight spread is 0 when you're standing still but this goes up to 0.4 when you're moving. The hip fire spread is 0.4 when you're standing still and 0.6 when you're moving. The spread increase per bullet is 0.15. On paper it doesn't seem to have a lot of recoil and spread, and this is true. The developers made it so it is good for a run and gun playstyle. It has a magazine capacity of 5 rounds, which is low since it's automatic or semi-automatic. The reload is fairly slow since it's a shell by shell reload. It takes a thousand milliseconds per shell and the total reload takes just under 6 seconds. We recommend you to reload whenever you can. It has three variants, the 12G automatic backboard, which is the variant we've been talking about so far. It has better recoil, but faster damage drop off. The second variant is the 12G automatic hunter, which has a tighter spread and longer range. And the third variant is the 12G automatic extended, which has an extended magazine, in this case seven rounds. We don't recommend a class, but we do recommend you take off the bayonet because it increases the ready and ADS time. The weapon is similar to the Model 10A, good on maps with close range encounters like the other shotguns. We hope you now have an overview of the 12G automatic. Thank you for watching, the sources that we've used are mentioned in the description. If you enjoyed the guide, consider leaving a rating, we would appreciate it very much. Uh, subscribe if you like our content, we also do division guides and uh, other stuff. If you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, leave those in the comment section down below.